Hello, welcome. This is New Vision TV. I am Ruth Naseje. Makere University postdoctoral researcher Stella Nyonzi has finally been granted bail after a full month in jail. A lot can happen in one month and New Vision TV looks at some of the things Stella has missed and what she has to catch up on. Stella Nyanzi's troubles with the state stemmed from the unfulfilled presidential pledge to give schoolgirls menstrual sanitary pads. She called the president names and ended up charged while her pad distribution campaigns were in Hygieia. Being a healthy woman of reproductive age, Stella found herself having to go through one or two menstrual periods in jail. It's not clear whether she got relief pads or had some supplies befitting of her allied status delivered to her in prison. The second irony is that while Stella's fame derives from her prolific use of social media, while she was away, the Uganda Communications Commission put its foot down on re-registration of SIM cards. Stella, who apparently uses mobile devices a lot, will have to quickly re-register her SIM card with a deadline less than 10 days away if she does not want to suffer disruption of her passion. As an urban single mother who was suspended from her job and her passport being impounded, so she cannot go for quick chair assignments. Stella must come to reality with skyrocketing commodity prices. A kilo of sugar that she left at 4,000 shillings is now costing 6,000 shillings, while a kilo of maize flour is hovering over 3,500 shillings. The panga welding thugs scatter leaflets and then come chopping residents at night who were operating in Greater Masaka region when Stella Nyanzi went in have since extended their operations to Kampala and Luelo districts. As the sole provider and defender of her household, Stella will have to take note of the developments and learn to work with her area police commander and some crime preventers. A month can be quite long, especially if someone is coming from confinement. You're still watching New Vision TV and in our daily Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at the white egret. Uganda has a total of 1,061 bird species. These are concentrated in forests, lakes, the sky, and even the mountains. Today, we look at one of the more adorable species, the white egret, locally known as Enyange. Take a look. <laughs> The egret is loved and treasured because of white feathers, which it keeps immaculately clean. In fact, its name Enyange is synonymously used to depict cleanliness. Found in many parts of Uganda, the egret flies in large flocks, and their snow-white plumage is so fascinating to watch as they fly in V-shaped formation. In Kampala City, you don't have to travel far beyond the center to see thousands of egrets, for they congregate at the Kabaka's Lake. The locals have an old saying that if only the Kabaka wanted to enjoy his royalty to the full, he would only employ egrets to brew his beer. In fact, several old laundry companies used to include the word Nyange to their names. For more Pearl of Africa stories, visit our website at www.newvision.co.ug. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your news updates on your mobile phone, on your desktop, on your tablet, and anywhere on the go by visiting our website at www.newvision.co.ug. I am Ruth Naseje.